dear students welcome to a cad lab uh, design and detailing practice which is as per the uh, sixth semester syllabus of sctbt for civil engineering students the subject number is pr3 so the experiment number is 2.1 so the aim of the experiment is to develop a 2d modeling of structure using uh, structure wizard geometry property support loads and combination in start pro software so let's create a model for this problem so we have a problem it is a simply supported rectangular rcc beam of uh, size uh, 300 mm wood and 700 mm overall depth subjected to uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter over the whole span of 5 meter and there is also a concentrated load of 10 kN which is acting at the center so let's uh, model this using the start pro software So let us uh, model this uh, beam using the start pro software. So for that, uh, we have this uh, screen of start pro, the main window. So what do we do? So we have to have to click on the new project and uh, click on space. Let us the file name uh, give some name to the file. Uh, let's say that is SS beam. Uh, at experiment. Two point of two point one, and this is the location where we have to save this file. So also you can change the path of the file uh, where you have to save this uh, file. So uh, in the next, so uh, the length unit are in meter and force unit are in kilometer. So uh, nothing to change. So click on next and just finish. So now. A uh, main window or the work space will open. Here you can see uh, we have a grid uh, that is uh, in. We just see the left hand uh, bottom corner. We have the uh, x y z coordinate. And if we change the view, uh, we just see this is the x axis and this is the y axis. Along x axis we have ten cells, and along y axis also we have ten cells. So from zero to ten and zero to ten. So each distance, each uh, unit is one meter along uh, both x and y direction. And here also you can see that is x axis and y axis uh, in this direction, and z axis is perpendicular to the uh, screen of the uh, uh, computer. So uh, let us uh, design this or uh, this model this beam. So uh, click on path zero, then go to the right, move towards the right along x axis, and click on the uh, pipe. So next, if we go on the general, so you can see the beam, uh, the model or the uh, figure of the beam has been uh, modeled. So if you want to know what is the size of the beam, so just click on this uh, icon or uh, dimension, and the dialog box will come. Here there is a display. Click on display and dimension to view, and just click on display. So as you can see, so the this is a five meter beam. So this is the five meter simplified beam has been created. So now you have to assign the section. As you remember from the uh, problem, that the section is a rectangular section having width uh, 300 mm and the width of the beam is 700 mm. So here, click on the section database and define. Click on define. Uh, click on define, and here you can see the property, and here there is rectangle. So the depth. That is YD. That is 700 mm or 0.7 meter, and the ZD is the width of the beam. That is 0.3 meter. So just click, and the material is concrete, so nothing to change. So click on concrete. Done. Close. Now we have to assign this property to the beam. So it is selected. So that is blue line is there. Just click on this beam, and the red it is selected now. Here the assignment method is assignment to selected beam. Now just it is selected. It is also selected. Now click on just assign. Now it will uh, save. Now you see 
the beam is assigned the property of rectangular beam having size 300 mm and 270 mm. So just to view that, just right click on the screen and you have a 3D rendering. Click on 3D rendering, you just see the image will form. This is the 3D view of the beam. You can see the width and depth. So having length of 5 meter. Okay. Now we have to assign the support. So click on support here in the left hand side. So here there is no support is assigned. So we have to create a support. So here you can see a dialog box will come for create support and uh, as it is a simply supported beam. So that is a pinned support. So you click on pin and nothing to change here. So just click on R. So now you can see there's in the support dialog box, the S2 that is support 2 is there. So you have to assign that support to the beam. So click on support 2 and click on this point as the supports are at the ends and assign. Here you can see the left hand support is assigned and the similarly click on the right hand support and click on assign the right hand node and yes. So the as you can see the beam is having the support at both the ends having simple support a pin support. Okay. Now we have to assign the load. So for load we have click on this load and definition here the load definition dialog box will come. So first click on this load test details. Just click on add. So here a dialog box will come. That is the number one. So this is the first type of load. Then then we have two type of load. One is the self weight. Uh, that is the uh, dead load. And another is the live load. Again for live load we have two type of load. One is a concentrated load at the center of the beam. And an UDL over uh, whole span. So for first one is dead load, click on this, uh, this scroll down will come. So click on dead and uh, R. So you just see there is a load case one is created. And uh, for load case two, it is a live load. Load case two, a title. Also you can change the title. That is UDL, you can so right. But, right. So uh, load, uh, dead load, we have two load cases, load case one and load case two. So uh, first, Load case one is the dead load. So they click on the uh, load case one and uh, uh, click on uh, add. So a dialog box will come that the self weight here, uh, as you can see the load direction is the perpendicularly downward and the white direction. So the factor is minus one because downward for downward it is minus one and uh, the direction is white direction. So just click on uh, the self weight. So add. So as you can see the self weight is assigned and uh, here then load case 2, you just again click on this load case 2 and click on R. Here there is a uh, member load we have. We have two member loads. One is UDL, another is the point load. So for UDL, the intensity is 5 kN per meter. This is acting vertical E downward, so minus 5 you have to write. And D1, what is D1? D1 is the distance between the starting point of the load and starting point of the beam. So as the load is from end to end, over the whole span, so D1 will be 0 and D2 will be 5 because this the load is covering covering the total uh, length of the beam. So uh, at the span of the beam is 5 meters, so D2 will be 5 meters. D3 is the distance between the center of the uh, point of application of the load and the edge of the beam. So it is centrally acted, so it will be D3 will be exactly uh, 0. So just click on R and close. And uh, another load case is there. So that is the member load, the concentrated force. You click on concentrated force and the value is uh, that is 10 kN. So you add that is minus 10 and the D1 uh, is the distance uh, from the point of application of the force to the edge of the beam or the end of the beam. So it is centrally acting. So total length is 5 meters. So half will be 2.5 uh, meter. So D2 will be again the eccentricity of the load from the center. So it is, it is axial load, so no eccentricity, that means D2 is equal to 0, as you see from the diagram also. Right. Now, the load is taken, but it is not assigned to the beam. So how to assign? So just click on this, uh, the, as you can see, there is a question mark here. Three red question marks are there. That means it is not assigned to the beam. So just click on the self weight, and uh, here, uh, Click on this beam. So just assignment method. You click on this assignment. Assign players of beam. Assign. You just see the change. It is green means the load is assigned. 
next is the udl and here same part so udl and same for this concentrated portion okay so now you can see uh, the beam uh, is there uh, it is assigned the load the udl and uh, uh, point load which is acting at the middle okay so that's how we will model a simple problem using the start pro software so uh, the analysis part uh, how to analyze this beam for rcc calculation uh, calculation the reinforcement calculation all these things will be uh, uh, discussing in the next video so uh, this that's all uh, from uh, uh, this video so thank you for watching